Today. Look who's here, the defective detective. Hello, monk. Captain. Sharona. Lieutenant. Hi. You look good. Dr. Kruger says you've been getting out some. Oh, he is really doing great. I can't even keep up with him, thanks. Excellent. He's not the guy. What? Monk, we got him dead to rights. He is guilty of the hit and run, but he didn't kill the paper boy. He didn't know who I was. There is something else in this newspaper. Something I'm missing. Oh! Oh, my God. Oh! The humanity. Yeah. You're stronger than me. Uh -oh. You still can't shake hands? <laughs> I see we have our work cut out for us. I can shake hands. Hmm. Oh, I used to use a wipe too, remember? I was so germaphobic. I'd always have a wipe in my pocket like this and I'd wipe my hands like this and then I'd fold it up into a little square and put it in my other pocket like this. <laughs> I was pathetic. Oh, hello, can we help you? I don't know, just stampede. Get a wipe ready. Oh. I am Adrian Monk. I called earlier. Oh, Mr. Monk. Um, please excuse the mess. After the marathon, we just kind of hibernate for a while, you know. <laughs> This is my assistant, Sharona. Hi. Oh, I'm the, this year's chairperson, Angie Morrison. This is Tilly Graves. Hi. Hi. Cicely Hi. Fraser. Hi. And uh, Brendan Connolly over there. Hi, Brendan Connolly. Hi. And this is Carl Jenkins. He's our chief of security. Hi, Carl. Hi. Thank you. You got a problem with me? What? Oh, no, 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 no. You don't want to shake your brother's hand. You just say so. You don't gotta go wiping it off. Oh no, he does that to everybody. Am I blind? Do I look like I'm blind? I saw what I saw. I'm gonna go and lock up downstairs. If I stick around here, I might do something I'll regret. Did you write these? Don't deny it, I know it was you. How are things down under? Hint, hint. Monk was right. You should clean under the table. You don't fool me for a second. It goes without saying, don't forget to throw away these little post-its, too. Captain, she never cleans under the table. You are not the boss of me. Well, I think I am the boss of you. What makes you think you're the boss of me? If I was the boss of you, you'd be fired. Oh, 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 no, hey, separate, both of you. Monk, over there. Gladys, can I have a word with you, please? Look, Gladys. He's a monk. Try to ignore him. Can you ignore him? No, I can't. Just do the best you can. Dear sir. It's Adrian Monk. Is the captain there? No, Monk. It's Sunday. Where are you? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm in an airplane. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Dish, you're in foot pursuit. Come Code on. three. You had him. Cover the alley. Here. I, I had him. I, I had him. I yeah, yeah, it, it wasn't your fault. Yes, it was. It always is. You have been living in darkness. Yeah, darkness, yes. Um, elevators, earthquakes, mushrooms, tigers, and boats. W what about charcoal? Charcoal. Yes. Nah. Dirt on your hand, brother. Wipe. Uh, uh, wipe. Wipe. No. No.
Don't wipe that off. Listen to me. These wipes you carry are a crutch. You're with me now. You don't need the wipes. Drop the wipe. Drop, drop the wipe. It's okay. Just give up. Just surrender. 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 Let it go. That wipe is like a chain, Adrian. It's dragging you down. Set yourself free. Let yourself live. You can do it. Drop the wipe. I'm free. I'm free. I don't like this, being here. You're not supposed to like being here, Arthur. This is an interrogation room. It's not a sports bar. I need a wipe. What? Do you have a wipe? So why were you harassing your ex-wife? We've got the phone records, Artie. You were calling her twice a day. I don't call my wife twice a day. I was worried about her. You call it worry. The judge called it stalking. <laughs> that was three years ago. What happened, Arthur? You went over there to talk, right? You lost your temper trying to talk to him? Everybody has a temper. What is that? What is that noise? Excuse me. Keep on. Okay, one more time from the top. So how long were you and Gwen missing? How's it going in there? It's going great. Except he wants to know what the little squeaky noise behind the mirror is. That might have been me. There's a smudge. I think it's on your side. You can get it when you go back in. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, what did you do? Are you insane? I need a, I need a wipe. Car. Here. Turn the door. Don't do this. Give me, give me a in wipe. The go to the car. Get the wipes. Go to the car. Um, about this David and Derek. He's not married, is he? I'm Warren Beach. Beach, like Coney Island. Oh, uh, Adrian Monk. Hi, Adrian, how are you? What's the matter? I'm not sick. No, he is. What's that? Oh, that's your call button in case you need help. Can I help you? I was just testing the button. Seems to be working. So you can stop now. I got matches. Oh, not yet. No, not quite even. We're just going to burn it, not live in it. Yeah, you'll thank me later. Hey, Brian, would you like to help? Sure. Here. Here you go. 
<laughs> he got me again. I'm so worried about the princess. She has all the emeralds and rubies and riches in the kingdom, but she never laughs. Who can make the princess laugh? So they call the court jester. The court jester, as everyone knew, was the silliest and funniest court jester that ever there was. With a jingle and a jangle, he rolled into the court. My queen calls, he sang out as he bowed. <coughs> jester, said the queen, the princess has forgotten how to laugh, and I am giving you the job of bringing back her smiles to this court. When shall I start, he asked. Just then, the princess entered the court, and everyone fell silent. Now is as good a time as any, she said. The jester turned and greeted the princess, and he bowed, he rolled end over end, and when he stopped, flowers appeared in his face. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm better. Where is she? I don't know. It's jungle out there Disorder and confusion everywhere No one seems to care Well, I do Hey, who 